welcome to The Sim Hanger. My name's Mark The Sim Hanger for all things Flight Sim related. Today we're going to have a quick look at the new Alpha release for Microsoft Flight Simulator, Alpha 4, as well as a snapshot of user feedback. But the main focus today is going to be on Microsoft's partnership series. And today it's Meteor Blue. This company specializes in the collection, modeling and forecasting of detailed weather data but not just for airports, but for the globe as a whole. One thing that will strike you is the amount of detail available and just how much of that detail is being incorporated and used within Microsoft's Flight Simulator. For me, it's almost a defining moment in my evaluation and opinion of this flight simulation. We've already seen fairly extensive details in terms of the wind modeling, the aerodynamic forces on the aircraft and such like. What is clearly evident to me that in addition to eye candy that is unmatched by any other flight simulation package in the market, this is no game. This is a fully fledged, fully equipped flight simulator with appeal across all ages. It will appeal to the casual get up and go flight simulation enthusiast all the way through to those who want to turn every dial and flick every switch. Well, on to Metro Blue. Let's see who they are and what they bring to the sim. Let's get started. The Swiss company specializes in the high precision modeling of weather data for real world use. Matthias, one of the co-founders, went on to explain that in addition to massive archives of information, they collect information across the globe from ground stations, satellites, weather stations and so on. This amazing level of detail is then fed into the simulator to create the amazing visuals that we've seen. Just a point of clarity, Mutter Blue supply the data and not the visuals. The end result is we get amazing accuracy for historical and live weather. Not just meta or TAF information, but global weather. To achieve this level of detail, Matthias explained that they divided the world into smaller segments. Small areas or boxes as it were. And each one of these segments having its own weather data. The amount of information collected is extensive including rain, snow, pressure, temperature, humidity, wind and so on. The world is divided up into an impressive 250 million boxes or sections. But we want more than just surface information, so there are 60 layers stretching round the globe up to the stratosphere for cloud information and so on. This amount of detailed weather information being injected into the sim across the whole globe and being interlinked allows for a very realistic representation by Microsoft of the weather, be it on the other side of the world or just over your house. So when preparing for your flight, you can be confident you're getting the accurate real world weather if you want it. Planning a transatlantic flight and want to fly in the jet stream? Well, now you can. All this provides for an amazing combination of Metro Blue's highly detailed weather information along with Microsoft's interpretation of the visuals of the weather around the globe, which is second to none at this time. Well, that for me is very exciting indeed. Great detail. Let's now have a look at the highlights for Alpha 4 and a quick snapshot of the user feedback. 
The feedback is classified into three sections. The main questions raised by the community regarding the flight sim, the top alpha issues and of course the wish list. The most common questions asked by the community, many of which still have to be answered, include aircraft and airport list, the campaign mode, missions and the details therein, the damage model details as well as the release date and of course the pricing model, a subject much debated. The main issues raised by the alpha testers, a lot of them currently are surrounding the A320 and the automated systems on the aircraft, including the autopilot, auto thrust and the cockpit display. Other topics that are common within the forum include camera issues and suggestions therein, as well as peripheral support along with various other aspects, most of them related to bug reporting, which is exactly what you'd expect in the Alpha. Turning now to the wish list. Understandably, a lot of interest in the SDK that will accompany the flight sim and its compatibility with third-party content. Many of the other items have been there, including peripheral and support for advanced settings, specifically for cockpit setups. We know that snow is depicted in the simulator, but queries still exist. Will there actually be seasons? And last but not least, but there is an awful lot of interest in VR compatibility and when that will be available, as well as compatibility with Track IR. The new Alpha, Alpha 4, is now out and available for download by Alpha testers, as well as more invites going out. We're not sure if there's going to be any more invites for alpha testers, so register now if you haven't, if you want to have access. The updates are extensive and cover nearly all aspects of the sim, from the 747 right through to the Cessna 152. It includes stability and user fixes for airports, cameras, controls and the like. And there has been a fairly significant upgrade to the SDK. This update includes new screenshots from our talented alpha testers. Well, as my subscribers have already probably noted, I've been warming to this flight simulation package for quite some time. And now, well, I'm hooked. I'm certainly very excited for the release of what I consider to be a groundbreaking flight simulation package, a game changer. Tell me what you think. I'd love to know. Please leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you found this useful and informative. See you again soon and take care. Bye for now.